it's uh, John Reed, who's with me. Familiar suspect, Michelle. How you doing? Hey, John. Nice Business Suite launched Palo Alto. This is a, a big day for SAP. You're talking about 86,000 lines of code or something. What's uh, going tables, on? Tables. 86,000 tables. Line tables. It's yeah. insane. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is a very big day for us. Uh, first of all, as an engineer, uh, it is something that we are very proud of. Um, we always wanted to be able to run ERP on HANA, you know, Business Suite. Uh, and uh, today we are doing that, and that is something that is of tremendous pride yeah. for us, uh, for our team, Franz Farber, Brand Leukert, our, our both our application team and our database team, that we are now, my little girl, you know, can handle the weight of the world's most complex, most mission-critical application. So that is pretty awesome. But uh, also what it means for customers in the sense of uh, uh, being able to reinvent business processes to make them real-time, just-in-time, dynamic real uh, processes. Um, manufacturing is an example of doing, being able to do just-in-time manufacturing with a totally rethought, dynamic, real-time MRP run, uh, payment, financials, pricing, all these complex activities in a business we can do in real-time without disruption. And, and then the third aspect of it is that non-disruption aspect of it, that we continue, this, is the, this release of business suite or this service pack of business suite, uh, continues to run on all other databases, including many of the optimizations that we are now doing with HANA, continue to run on Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, and so forth. And Which was one of the surprise announcements, really, I think, yeah, to the yeah. outside world, is that you're going to be supporting these other databases and helping them to achieve some of the optimizations. A little tricky territory yeah, there, huh? No, no I mean, uh, the, uh, every, uh, all functionality of the business suite will be available on all databases. There are some things that we do inside HANA that are that are unique, um, that are, I mean, where you get the power of HANA. We will do also those optimizations in stored procedures in other databases. Now, there are some things that you can only do on a in-memory columnar database, which has the ability to do full table scans ridiculously fast and stuff like that. Those, we will off, those functionalities will offer as a compatibility mode with other databases, or this is something you cannot do in there and so forth. But everything that is in the business suite will continue to run on all databases and will continue to be optimized for all databases. Now, I don't want to get you or me into trouble with your crack legal team, but what are you allowed to say about pricing at this point? No, the pricing of uh, a business suite on HANA is done in a way that is very uh, convenient for customers. It is done along the lines of traditional database pricing. So if you are an existing business suite customer, then it is done as a percentage of the utilization of the application, which is how you do database pricing if you move from one database to another, so this SAV pricing. So if you're familiar with how databases are priced, then... It's very similar. It's going to be it's basically the same. Similar. Yeah, it's, and also the, from a cost perspective, our idea was that the license cost, uh, you get a license cost neutrality. So if you are, for example, a new um, e ERP or business suite customer, uh, then it would be similar to you would, the way you would buy a runtime license of a database. Do you think we can get a little more nuanced about our how we use this non-disruptive language, because you and I have talked about this, but today you guys use that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I understand the point, which is for business users, this isn't going to disrupt what you're trying to do. Yeah. But on the IT side, it's obviously a major transition. I would argue an important one that IT managers to consider, are going to yeah. have to look, but still, isn't yeah. it a little bit tricky yeah, yeah. when we use If we look inside, the principle of non-disruption, I mean, if you look at cities, right, where, where this principle comes from when I articulated timeless software, um, it is if you look at cities like New York, is New York an old city or a new city? The answer is, of course, it is both. It is a continuously living city. It is simultaneously modern and centuries old. Um, it's, it's like that. So when you look at the details of non-disruption, let's take an example, MRP run. Uh, when we run MRP on, from, from Business Suite on HANA, we rethink the MRP run itself, so it runs as a stored procedure inside HANA and it runs thousands of times faster, and it is also simpler and, and, and so on. But from the perspective of the consumers of MRP, the outside users, and also the other systems that the MRP run connection to the purchasing system, the ordering systems, and so forth, there is no disruption because they don't even realize that something right. changed, except that this thing runs a lot faster. Right. However, the application system is now not the same because you part of the logic is running inside the stored procedure. The database obviously is not the same, which which is non-trivial, like you said. You move the database to right. HANA, and and now uh, the administration is 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 different. It is very similar. I mean, you know, administration in HANA is simpler 
than in a normal database because you don't have all the materialized views and stuff like that. But it is still a different database. Um, and um, all the connections into backup recovery, high availability, and archiving, and all that have to be have to be done. Uh, hardware is usually, I mean, it's commodity Intel x86 based hardware, but it is typically new hardware. So yeah, yeah, there are all those changes that have to be managed. I know we have to wrap our shoot in a sec. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm not as excited about ERP on HANA as I am about all the startups that I've talked with in the HANA startup ecosystem and all the amazing things that are happening next. And we had a question today about HANA in the cloud. Can you give us a very quick preview on what is next for HANA besides just the business suite on HANA? Well, you know, obviously I am also excited about uh, the startups and it is something that keeps me going. It is uh, very energizing. We have now more than 160 startups building on, on HANA and they are usually very, very far away from the world of ERP and BW and so on. Um, so that is very exciting, and that is uh, something that, that we are really proud of, and we want to do much more of. However, ERP is our heart, you know, and it right. is our roots. And right. this is, uh, if if my little girl could not run ERP, then it would not right. it would not have been real. So it is something that we are at SAP incredibly proud of because this is now bringing Hana to our to our roots to our heart. Um, and as to the cloud, you know, we already run on the Amazon and Korea Telecom cloud. We're working with Portugal Telecom. B1 on HANA runs on cloud. Um, we have built this 250 terabyte cluster that runs down here in Santa Clara where we already su support uh, workloads from customers. Uh, the success factors applications are all moving uh, to HANA, which obviously are in the cloud. So I would say that uh, you can connect the dots Right from there, and yeah. uh, stay tuned later this spring. Stay Sapphire. tuned later this spring. Did you really throw Hasso's slide away? By the way, what was up with that? He no, no, I, 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 I changed uh, the sequence of uh, that one slide. Remember when he talked about the rules, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the design principles? Yeah, I changed the sequence of that, uh, and uh, he was not happy about that. I made them more logically coherent, but uh, it was a different order that he had in his mind. But I did not change that slide that he said I did. There you have it, folks. A day in the life of Vishal and uh, Hasso. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much, John.